everyone, let's take a look at Platformatic DB, uh, our, our way to quickly expose your uh, relational database to the world with uh, the use of REST and GraphQL. And, you know, a little bit of Node.js with Platformatic. So let's take a look. First of all, we do uh, need to run our wizard, which uh, we set up a local application. So um, we do that with, with running by running npx create platformatic at latest or create platformatic if you have installed this globally. And we uh, create a project, database project in this folder. We will SQLite in this test, but you can use whatever you want. And you want to create the default migration? Yes. A plugin? Yes. We want to use TypeScript. Hello. Yes, of course. We want to do npm install. And uh, while this is running, let's take a look at what this has created for us. We have created an, a nice package JSON uh, file here uh, with a platformatic db.js, which includes uh, its, uh, its schema version and which allows uh, auto completion for, and validation of the config file inside your editor, which is amazing. And uh, uh, then we have hostname, port, the, all things that you would expect from a server. We also have a connection to for the DB. We can uh, enable or disable and even configure some details of GraphQL and OpenAPI support. Some ignore for uh, auto, watch auto reload and migrations and plugins and types. Hey, hello, a lot of that, a lot of those. So, and uh, here is still installing. Uh, how does this work? Uh, we have a couple of migrations created for us automatically. Uh, one migration which creates a table called movies with an ID and a title. Great, very simple table and an undo folder. So Platformatic DB automatically has support for migrations, but you could actually use whatever migration software you want. It's, it's not tied, minus the fact that there are a few uh, utilities in here, but you can, you can disable them and don't worry about it in any form. Uh, Platformatic DB is also based on top of a Platformatic service, so you can specify whatever you want in here in the plugins and have uh, whatever paths you want. Also, we, you can control the TypeScript compilation, so by default, when this starts, uh, it will compile and set up all your uh, TypeScript file by default, but if you if you are in a production setting, you might want to turn them off. Oh, and do you know what those uh, braces are? Well, those are actually environment variables, so um, which allows you to further custom configure this for each environment you might want to have. So that's, uh, and here is the plus M sample, which is the default, and this is the dot M, which is, will actually be used. So um, M install is finished, so we can apply migrations, generate the types, and no, we are not creating any those. Cool. So now we have our project, and uh, first of all, what we want to do is uh, run the migrations. Uh, so actually, we have run the migrations. So we, we want to start it. So npm start. Let's try that. You can see it takes a bit because it's compiling TypeScript, and then we can see in 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 our window that we have a Platformatic DB. Um, on page already set up for us, which will disappear automatically if you have, uh, if you're running on, um, if, if you set up another root page. Uh, we have a few routes that are being created automatically for us in our open API definition, which are get movies, post movies, put, and so on and so forth. So let's give it a go. Let's try this out. So we want to uh, get all the movies, which is empty because there's no movies. Uh, but we can actually add one. What do you think? So we are going to add a nice movie called Star Wars. And uh, uh, you can see that we have title ID one and title Star Wars. So we can, for example, get a single movie and we want to get only the title, for example, here of Star Wars. And we are go we got the title of Star Wars. So as you can see here, this is actually pretty Useful is a pretty useful API already, uh, but we can do even more things with it. For example, we can even use GraphQL. So as you can see here, we have already a save movie with Harry Potter set up. But if we duplicate this, uh, we can even have a subscription uh, for us. So which is movie saved, which one the ID and the title. And if we start running our, our subscription here and we save our movie, 
you can see that here we got the movie saved uh, automatically uh, updated so you can even have live updates and we can even do a query and get all the movies and id and title here and you see you can get uh, you get all of them and you can filter them and you have a lot of things here that you can say so you can say the where and you want the title to be equal to uh, star wars and you can get it okay so yeah pretty cool right okay so uh this is this is basic things um what uh, platonic b offers offers more so um we have support for example for authorization which is a i would probably do another follow-up video uh, but we also support relations so uh, what does it mean relations so what you can do for example here is uh, you can do uh, uh, plt uh, db migrations create so let's create another another table and here we can go in and, and do and we can do uh, uh, create table quotes and let's hope yes of course uh, we got uh, it automatically done for us okay and we want to do uh, a pay um, movie uh, id integer not null reference moving id we don't need the on the late cascade and uh, we don't need this it will be filled in automatically by us let's remove it completely so we have the, the text of the quote and the author of the quote and we can just get the text so here uh, once once we've done that we can even do here a drop table quotes just because and then we can npx uh, sorry ltdb uh, migrations apply once we have done that um, it will run the second migrations okay and now we have here uh, the the system is uh, reloaded so we can actually reload this thing and you can see it automatically you have um, uh, automatically you have the new quotes folder the, the new quotes routes which are being created uh, automatically for us which is um, kind of kind of amazing to be honest and i you know we can you can get the quotes of a single movie as you can see here so movies id quote so we have already um, uh, let's add a quote so we can uh, test this out so let's let's post a quote in so we want uh, a quote of the of star wars and say, uh, uh, may the force be with you. And then we execute this up. And automatically we have, yeah, it has created our thing very easily. But what is nice is that then we can get, for example, the quotes, uh, um, the, the, here, where is it? The, um, the quotes of a given movie. So we could even say, put it in here, movie D1, and it automatically, we get the, um, well, I stored it twice. So uh, we, we get the, uh, we get the data. So yeah, pretty cool, right? So here we go. So pretty, pretty nice. And then we can get the same information here. If I refresh, and I get my movies um, here. You can see that we have movies, but then I can even ask for their quotes. And I want the ID and the text of the quote. And you see that we have the, the two things that I've added. Pretty cool, right? OK, so uh, I think this is uh, we get all this full relation support and subscriptions and mutations. Everything is uh, works more or less as you would expect it to. So it's, uh, you know, uh, try it out and let us know uh, how, how things are going. Thank you.